So, I've got kind of mixed feelings about this game. Uh, I actually bought this game for the Xbox 360 a long time ago. I couldn't tell you when exactly I bought it, but the game came out in 2008, so uh, it probably wasn't too long after it originally came out. But uh, when I played it back in the day, I couldn't even figure out how to get through the entire first chapter, which is a little um, sad, but... Playing through this game now, it's actually kind of neat. Um, I don't know. It was kind of kind of cool to play again, for sure. The one thing I really do like about this game the most is the like the interesting concept for it. Um, I feel like if the gameplay was a little bit better, this probably would have been like a huge title. Um, but honestly, it kind of like doesn't really live up to like what you would expect it to. Although. I mean, the story alone is enough to interest me just because the the main like plot of this game is you go and you break into this museum and you find Pandora's box, which is like, ooh, like crazy mytho mythological like piece of, you know, whatever. Uh, I don't even think myth uh, Pandora's box is a real thing as far as I know. Uh, I could be wrong on that. But in the game, you unlock the box and when you do... It lets out all these crazy mythological creatures into the like real world, and they start, you know, tearing, tearing down all kinds of crazy stuff, and like rummaging through the city and killing people and all this stuff. So your whole goal is to try to uh, find the people who put you up to the task, and ultimately close the box so that way, you know, people aren't dying because of it. To me, this game feels a lot like Half Life Two. And, I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it just kind of has that, like, dated feel to it to where it doesn't really hold up today, in my opinion. Like, playing back through the game, like, it's kind of alright, but it's nothing spectacular. Uh, I feel like they could have done a lot more to polish the game. Like, it really does, like, kind of look funny in certain areas, and, like, uh, there is a button that you can use to kind of show you your marker on the map, like the map to show you where you're supposed to be going. But in a lot of cases, the game is so like dimly lit and it doesn't really give you like a clear indicator on some of the spots where you need to go that it's really like kind of confusing in certain points where you almost have to just like scan the room a couple of times and try to figure out what exactly you're supposed to do. Uh, I know there was a part where um, you're in this warehouse and there's werewolves that are attacking you or whatever and once you kill the werewolves you you're kind of just sitting there trying to figure out where to go and it turns out that you have to like there's almost like a a level kind of thing where like one side has a whole bunch of like barrels full of water on them and you have to destroy those barrels of water so that way the other side will lower down and make it to where you can access the ladder or whatever but like it gives you like no context on anything like whether or not you're supposed to do that uh, and if you use the marker system it's just like hey get to the door and you know escape the you know this part of the level <laughs> so you're kind of just running around until you accidentally like shoot one or something like that um, I don't know it just didn't seem super clear to me uh, I guess I could just be stupid so take that for what it's worth from what I've seen, there's five chapters in this game, which doesn't make it like crazy long. I think in the two hours that I played, I made it almost all the way through chapter three. Uh, the first two chapters have a pretty decent like lineup of enemies that you face, but really like once it once it kind of shows you the main enemies, like you get to see all these like cool like griffins and stuff like that flying around in the very like opening scene where you're running through the streets and stuff like that but you don't you don't fight a griffin until chapter three and other than that it's basically just throwing werewolves at you while you're running around in in the storage areas or there's these weird little like lava monsters that roll around and shoot fire at you uh, you fight those a lot but I mean I don't think that it really gives you a decent amount of variety until you get way later in the game I think it would have been kind of cooler if it thrown different enemies at you to kind of like show you 
that there are different enemies, but <laughs> all of a sudden, once you get to chapter three, it's like, oh, hey, fight this Minotaur, and that, like, you've never even known that Minotaurs exist, like, you haven't even seen them in the game, like, passively, so it just kind of throws that on you, and then, like, just a couple of minutes later, it's like, oh, hey, like, I know you just fought that Minotaur as, like, a boss, but fight this Griffin, and <laughs> the Griffin was actually pretty hard, but, I mean... I don't know. It was kind of cool, but I kind of wish it would have, like, you know, shown a little bit more progression with the enemies instead of it just being like, oh, hey, like, you're in Chapter 3 now. We better throw some new stuff at you before you get, you know, bored of fighting fucking werewolves all day. I don't know if it's just the fact that I played this game on the PC or not. It probably is, considering it was originally made for the consoles and, you know, it came out you know, a while back, uh, during the Xbox 360 era, so, uh, but I mean, the controls just feel kind of weird sometimes, like, nothing, like, too crazy, but I could never quite get the sensitivity working how I wanted it to with the mouse, which, I mean, like I said, it, I'm pretty sure it was really meant to be played on a controller anyway, so they didn't really have that in mind, um, maybe not at the time anyway, but the other thing that's really weird is your jump height. Um, like you, you jump like literally like two inches off the ground in some sections of the game. It's like, oh, hey, like, like it doesn't tell you ever to do anything specifically, but like the way that you need to go, it's like, oh, hey, you know, jump up on top of this or that and like, you know, progress forward or like, you know, jump over this obstacle. But your guy jumps so like your guy's jump height is so small that sometimes it's re <laughs> really difficult and you're just sitting there jumping over and over again, trying to get up on top of these obstacles. Uh, <laughs> and it's kind of frustrating sometimes. Um... Other than that, uh, it's kind of funny because when it teaches you that you can jump and like sprint jump and stuff, uh, you sprint and you, the sprinting in the game is pretty fast itself, but then when you sprint and then jump, it like builds up all this like random momentum that you didn't know you had and like flings you forward, like propels you forward and like it's probably the longest jump I've ever seen in a video game and it just feels super out of place but I mean you actually do like a lot of the gaps in the game that you jump over uh, actually fit the, the jump length I guess. So, I mean, I guess there's that. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel out of place in the game because some of the obstacles you need to get over are that big, but it just if from normal game standards, it's very weird. Uh-oh. <laughs> <No. laughs> oh man. That's too funny. Altogether, I didn't really have a terrible time playing this game. It was kind of fun to go back and play it, even though I played it uh, a little bit as a kid. Obviously, I told you I didn't get very far, but I always thought it was kind of a cool game, and I thought it would be cool to revisit it, and I'm pretty sure I bought it, like, specifically on Steam the other day uh, because it was on sale, so it's kind of cool that I rolled this one because I didn't know if I was ever going to really get to it. Uh, but that's the beauty of this series. I get to play games that I didn't really think I was ever going to get around to playing. Uh, altogether, maybe I'd give this game like a like a two out of five. It's not really great. It's kind of meh, but I mean, I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. Nothing like nothing like groundbreaking or anything. This wasn't like a top seller of 2008. So yeah. But on the other hand, thank you guys for watching. There should be some links on the screen as always where you can go back and watch some of my other videos. Uh, other than that. Give me a, a like or a dislike to let me know like what you thought. Maybe subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.